Bernard, um, you thought you had a premonition of the fight turning out this way. What did you see in Pavlik that made you think this could happen? Well, Styles make fights, Larry. First, I'd like to um, say hello to my friends at Miami at the Blue and Green Diamond. Also, Obama, I know you're watching, you and your wife. Next president, thank you, man. And everybody of Germantown and North Philly, love y'all, man. Philly in the house. The Phillies, the Phillies will win the championship. Larry, I felt good. I told Kelly Pavick he's a great fighter. I said it before and I said it after. I'll tell you, no one's going to beat this guy at 60. And, you know, I knew that my style and my quickness is um, over underrated, not overrated, but underrated. And I was just looking to lead and then counter and then lead and counter, mix it up a little bit. And I sort of, like, I seen I, I confused him early on. But, I mean, he's, he is a heavy-handed puncher. I mean, I felt a lot of his blows. Um, I never got hurt by none of them, but I know to not get hit flush with him because he's like a heavy-handed puncher. After the last fight, when you look so fatigued in the late rounds, where did the energy come to sustain this for 12 rounds? Half, 90% of the media, according to Richard Schaefer, had a poll that I would lose the fight, and a lot believed that I would get knocked out. You know, Larry, you mentioned in your early telecast leading up to this fight, would move Bernard Hopkins. Yes, I got talent, but it's the naysayers, Larry, and I need them. If I don't have them, Larry, I won't fight to, to my best ability. I don't know, it sounds crazy, but I need to be, I need to have people against me. And not that I want it, but as long as I'm in this business of the hurt business, I, I gotta have it, Larry. Sometimes I pick fights, even with you. <laughs> Were you trying to make even a bigger statement by stopping him in the late rounds? Yes. Yes, because, you know, Larry, I've been paying the safe because of my age, and I feel if I can win it um, in a driver's seat with the seatbelt on, then why not? But I know what the fans want. They pay me a lot of money to risk myself. Uh, you've been on me for years, and justifiably, justifiably so. I don't want to pick it up. If I'm going to continue to box again, then another fight um, or another year, uh, I haven't decided yet to talk to Oscar and Richard, but uh, you're going to see me stepping it up. I promise you, Larry, whoever I fight now, I'm going for the knockout. I don't know what round, um, but I'm going to try at the end. And I want to display it with tonight. And I think I, I came close to doing it, but he's tough. And I give Kelly Pavlik all the credit. His people from Youngstown, they got a great champion, and they shouldn't be uh, upset at him. They should be proud of him. Does all this mean that you are rooting for Roy Jones to beat Calzaghe next month, setting up a fight that's been a decade overdue? Well, uh, before you leave this earth and before Jim Lampley leave this earth and Emmanuel Stewart, that will be a dream fight for me. I will fight Roy. I will go to England. I will go to England to fight the Wellsmen, especially if their dollar is a little higher than ours in America. I will go to England. So in either one of those guys, Larry, um, I'm, I'm willing to fight. But Roy would be huge. Don't everybody want to see me beat Roy Jones? Thank you, Bernard. Thank you, Larry. Thank HBO, Kerry Davis, Ross, and you. Thank you, and congratulations on a great fight. Kelly, it looked like you were having problems with him in the first round, and it never changed. You tell us why you couldn't deal with this old guy. First of all, he didn't fight like he was old. Um, he had the movement and everything else, but you know, I just couldn't get off tonight. I mean, with his movement, just, I don't know, like I throw my jabs, I, I, my right hands, something was, not ticking. I, I'm not making no excuses. The guy fought good and he gave me a lesson. Was, was, could it have been the weight? There are observers in this game who thought that once you started putting on weight, you would not be as quick or as strong over bigger fighters. I don't know. That could be a possibility, Larry. I, I really don't know. Um, I was going to say, I didn't feel like me in there tonight. I felt, I felt like a sub-novice fighter in there tonight. Just everything. I mean, I, I couldn't move. When I tried to turn softball and flip my right hand out. 99% of fighters that works on it tonight, I just couldn't get it going. None what What was the lesson you learned that you just referred to? Yeah, I can't be getting myself in shape. I mean, I wasn't a bit winded at all throughout that fight. I mean, not one time was I tired. Um, just a lesson of, you know, go back to the drawing board and, and work on um, fighters that have lateral movement or something, you know? Can you change your style and why should you? Or is this just a unique circumstance against a special fighter? I think it was a unique circumstance against a special fighter. And another thing is, you know, we spar guys that are real fast and, and slick like that. And um, I don't have that problem. I don't know what it was tonight, Larry. Like I'm saying, it's not an excuse. I mean, 
Like I went out there and he did what he had to do, but it just wasn't me. I, I, I couldn't get off the way I want to. Was there too much focus on your having to look good or dominate him or even knock him out? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it was looking good. I think I was worried about that, but you know, as the fight goes on, you don't even, you throw it out the window. Then you, when you're behind on the scorecards, you just start going for the, the rounds, you know? So that was tossed out the window after the third round. Uh, we just tried going in there and keeping the punch rate up, but like I said, I couldn't even get off. I mean, even on the inside when we were clenched, I didn't have the energy to punch. Will you be happy to return to 160? Yeah, definitely. We're definitely going back to 160. We have the titles there, but um, you know, I ain't done it to higher weight classes either. So, you know, that, that one, you guys know how I am and how I fight. Uh, you know, it was one loss in 35 fights against a lot of great fighters. I mean, who knows what the situation was, but that's only one loss. You know, a lot of these great time fighters have five or six losses. What do you think the reaction in Youngstown will be where you've had such a great response and so much affection? I don't know. I mean, uh, it's one loss. You know, uh, we come back, we still got the titles. Uh, we'll see, though. You know, I have faith in them. They're great uh, fans, best fans in the world. And, uh, you know, we'll be back. This ain't nothing. Thank you very much, Kelly.